Today, I share with you all how you can make pizza at the comfort of your own. If that sounds something interested, keep watching. Half all purpose flour, I'll go ahead and seal the flour just to remove all the unwanted particles that may come with the flour. This step is very, very important. Once I'm done with that, I added sugar and salt and instant yeast. I'll go ahead and mix everything very well. Take your time to mix it so all the dry ingredients can combine very well. I will leave the food ingredients down below. If you're interested, you can check it out. Once I mix all the dry ingredients very well, I'll go ahead and add warm water and I'm going to be adding the water bit by bit so I don't add too much. And then I'll continue to mix until everything comes together to form a dough. And the reason why for warm water is just that it's going to help the yeast to activate very well. Once everything forms a dough like this, I'm going to remove the spatula and start kneading with my hand. You can transfer it on a working surface and knead it, but I'm going to knead it in the bowl. At this point, I've been kneading the dough for about 4 to 5 minutes now and the dough has started sticking into my hand. I'll go ahead and add olive oil to that. Once I add olive oil, the olive oil will prevent it from sticking to the bone or sticking to my hand. I'll continue to knead for about 5 to 6 minutes more. You guys know, pizza need kneading and at the same time, you don't want to over knead it, alright? Once the dough stick into my hand, I dip my hand in olive oil and then I started kneading. Once I knead it and I am satisfied, I rub some olive oil on top and I place a lid over it and then I keep it in a warm place just for the yeast to activate. While I wait for the dough to activate, I'll go ahead and mix the sauce and here I have two tomatoes, half bell pepper and one garlic. I'm going to transfer it into the blender, blend it quickly and then you can make your pizza sauce in different ways but this is the most easiest way that I used to make it, alright? Once I blend the tomato, I transfer it into the pot and allow to boil down for a couple of minutes and I will be right back. The tomato has boiled down very well. I'll go ahead and add salt and I'll add oregano and a little bit of black pepper. And that is it, guys. You don't need a lot of seasoning in your pizza sauce, all right? But do you, but trust me, this method is absolutely, absolutely perfect and it's so, so delicious. I stir everything together and then I continue to boil it until all the water dry out. You don't want water in your tomato pizza sauce, all right? This is about 3 hours later because the weather is so cold guys so it takes 3 hours and the dough is looking so good already. I just punch it down just to remove any air that is inside and then I'm going to transfer it into my working surface. Once I transfer the dough into the working surface, I just roll it out a little bit and I'm going to transfer it into the pizza tray. At this point, I'll go ahead and use my hand just to adjust the dough to my to the shape that I want. Just keep using your hand to press the dough until you achieve that perfect shape that you want, alright? Nothing special, just keep using your hand. And my hands are clean, don't worry guys, my hands are perfectly clean. Just keep adjusting, keep adjusting until you get that perfect shape that you want. At this point, I already get the perfect shape that I want. I'm going to go ahead and add the tomato sauce and then spread everything around. You don't need too much of tomato. Just add a little bit, alright? But do you, if you like a lot of sauce on your pizza, add a lot. But you want to do it in a moderation so your pizza can come out so nice, so beautiful, so delicious as well. At 
at this point go ahead and add your cheese and then do you when it comes to cheese you can add less or you can add more but when you come to cheese i'm team extra 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 i had enough cheese once i add the cheese i went ahead and had my red bell pepper yellow bell pepper and onion that is what i'm making use but sister brother do you okay add whatever you desire to add on your pizza you can add pepperoni sausage chicken anything you desire but this is how i like my pizza and when i'm doing all this serere all this okay all this shakara i already preheated the oven to 150 degree Celsius. i'm going to transfer it into the oven and allow to bake once it's completely done This is the moment we have been waiting for you guys the pizza looks so beautiful it looks so so good guys and it tastes absolutely amazing i hope you guys like the recipe and if you do please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video enjoy with your friends and family see you in my next video bye